for the American public. And that's our focus. Thank Reed. you. Hi. Thanks, Karine. So the year Joe Biden was sworn in as president, promising a more humane immigration system, is the same year that an all-time record 1.7 million migrants have been detained at the southern border. Is that a coincidence? Thanks. So um, thanks for the question, Peter. Um, first, uh, I'll say that DHS will formally release its uh, monthly September operational update uh, sometime soon. So I'm not going to go into uh, get ahead of that or go into the numbers. I think that's what you're you're mentioning uh, right now. But secondly, you know, I would add, and you hear us talk about this all the time. We continue to enforce uh, Title 42 uh, and uh, expel single adults and families when possible. And we continue to be very, very clear that no one should attempt uh, to irregularly. Uh, migrate here or enter the United States. So it's unsafe, it's unlawful, it's a public health risk, which is why we're using Title 42, because it's not our immigration policy, it's a public health authority. And so those attempting attempting uh, to, to come in irregularly, migrate irregularly, will be subjected to border restriction, including uh, Title 42, as I just mentioned. And you're telling people not to come. That's been the line for a couple months. It's been very well documented that a lot of these migrants are just released with a notice to appear or a notice to report, and that something close to 80% don't appear or report. So do officials around here consider that that could be something that is attractive to migrants who figure if I can just get in I can stay again I'm not going to get into the numbers because I know that uh, you're leaning into the numbers and asking me these questions but look we've been very clear and we've been clear for the last 10 months uh, again the CDC has determined that the continued expulsion of certain individuals under title 42 is necessary due to the risk of transmission and sp and spread of COVID-19 in congregate in congregate settings such as CBP stations as well as the threat from emerging variants so if if it's not possible, which is what I think you are uh, alluding to there, uh, there is an exception if we have operational capacity constraints, including the makeup of the specific family unit and agreements with the country of origin or last residence. Another determining factor is detention capacity, both within ICE and CBP. There is also an extension for acute humanitarian need, such as the urgent medical situation. There is an exception on the Convention Against Torture. If someone makes a legitimate claim that they would suffer torture if they've, re they've returned to the country from which they have come. As we have stated, those who cannot be expelled are placed into immigration proceedings. But, as to be clear, we are still expelling, uh, expel expelling single adults and families uh, when possible using Title 42. That remains the policy. That has not changed.